We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we're going to be doing something very exciting. Today, we're going to be directly comparing the scopes in the new Scopes and Crosshair DLC in Early Access with non-DLC scopes. So this is the Hyperion, and as you can see, it's a little different from how it used to be. It is letting less light in, so it is appearing to be tinted. So that is the Hyperion, and now this is the Odin 4 12 by 33 rifle scope. You ready? That's it. And that's it fully zoomed in. I don't know if I'm ever going to use the Hyperion ever again. This is amazing. <laughs> so this is the Odin and that is the Hyperion. So you'll notice there's a level five fallow hiding in there. Hey dude, how'd you like to step out for us? Oh, what a good man. So with the Hyperion, you can see the size of this level five fallow and we're actually going to shoot him. See? He is definitely bigger, but we still have lots of room to be able to shoot multiple animals while grinding. That is the reason that I use the Hyperion over the Argus with the big black rim and being far too zoomed in and that crazy death wobble. You don't get that with the Hyperion and we're not getting it with the Odin as well. So this has all the benefits of the Hyperion. Plus you're zoomed in a little bit more. You still have a nice thin rim so that it is not blocking up your field of view. So I am super in love with this new scope. So today we're gonna be hunting with the Odin. We are also going to be trying out the new angler for eight by 100 night vision scope and the Hermes three seven by 33 handgun slash shotgun scope. If he would, oh, he is out in front. I better shoot him before he spooks. So this is the seven mil. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love the scope. I love it. And that's definitely gonna make him go splat. He is down. So as you can see on the screen, we have some new icons. There definitely have been some changes. So there's my tent. All right, he is a beauty and a diamond fallow, 260.51. First animal shot using the new Odin scope. Very cool. Now guys, let me know in the comments which of these three scopes you are most excited for. And somewhere in the video, I am gonna share a key phrase. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel. And we're gonna dive right in. Now look at the bottom right hand corner as we are loading in, follow the blood trail, new diamond. There are little sayings. That is definitely new with this update. And that is a very cool change. When you go in here to the store, I wanna show you the scopes. They look amazing even in the store. So let's have a look at the scopes before we go out and use them. So this is the Hermes 3 7x33 handgun and shotgun rifle scope. So once you purchase the DLC, all of these scopes will be free in the store. You will not have to pay with any in-game currency. And that is delightful. So the new handgun and shotgun scope is three to seven times magnification. So we will definitely have more magnification with this scope. This is the old handgun scope and it was two to four times and we will be directly comparing all of these today then when you go into rifle sights here we have the angler for eight by 100 night vision rifle scope and doesn't it look incredible so this baby has four to eight times magnification whereas the old Gen Zero night vision scope had a magnification of one to four times. So that is going to make a world of difference. So we're definitely going to be doing some night hunting today. And there's the Odin. We just used that baby. So it has a magnification of four to 12 times, whereas the Hyperion was four to eight times. So man, we've been waiting for new scopes for a long time and it's looking like it was definitely worth the wait. This is so exciting. Now to customize any of your sites, you just simply highlight the site and press C for customize. I'm not sure how to do it with a controller, but it should say on your screen. And then you can pick whichever site you would like. Pretty cool, right? Very cool. Not the cheapest, hey? $4,500 to change? Holy. Oh, and I have more exciting news for you guys. Today we're going to be hunting with the Gantier rifle because, and let me show you, look at the ammo. It's now good for classes four to nine and not four to eight. So we can now hunt for class nine species with the Gantier. So we are definitely going to be doing that today as well. 
There also have been changes made to the Fox Pro X360 electronic collar. So we will be taking that out in a little while. So now after the update, you will be able to call in two animals at the same time and it does have other features. So we will be using that baby. So we're gonna start out by hunting pumas because they drink at night. They drink from 21 to zero. So we're gonna make it 2200. And I'm gonna make sure we have both night vision scopes so that we can compare the two. I have so many scopes on me, it's insane. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna put the Hyperion away for right now and we're gonna take out the old Gen Zero scope. Okay, so this is the 22250 using the old night vision scope. So I am looking over at this tree here. I guess it would be better if we had an animal to look at. Let's go find one. Perfect, we have some black buck right here. Okay, so this is me fully zoomed in with the old Gen Zero rifle scope. And here we are with the new rifle scope fully zoomed in and what a difference. Now this is the wrong rifle. This is the seven mil, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Swing and a miss. No, and I'm out of ammo. Look at the size of that scope. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. We didn't make our hit there, but not really the point. So that's totally all right. Oh, we have our first Puma. So what do you think of the new icons for tents and tripods? Pretty cool, right? You know what, just to be feisty, why don't we take this shot right from here? We're just about at 300 meters. Now before, this is what this shot would look like. Could I make it? Yeah, probably, but it's a lot nicer using this scope. What a difference. Splat, that was absolutely no problem. And here he is. How you doing, dude? Not so good, eh? And we got a beautiful double lung and liver shot from 301.93 meters. Absolutely perfect shot. I love this new night vision scope. It is amazing. You know what we're gonna do later on? We're gonna hunt for some water buffalo with the gant hair. <laughs> That should be very interesting. Okay, we have another puma, and this time it is almost 300 meters out. So look at this. This is fully zoomed in with the old Gen Zero scope. I can't even see the puma. I can't highlight it. It just kind of blends in. Now this is with the new night vision scope, and we can highlight it, and that is so much better. All right, so I'm going for gold. We are gonna have some drop here. That should have been good, and he went splat. We're going to put the new night vision scope to the ultimate test. We're gonna take a shot from 400 meters. So check this out. First, I'm gonna get rid of this waypoint, but this is what this shot would look like if I were using the old Gen Zero night vision scope. This is it fully zoomed out. I can't even see the puma without zooming in all the way. And even with it zoomed in all the way, I can't spot it. It is absolutely tiny. Now with the new night vision scope, much, much better. This is from 400 meters, guys. Now we're zero to 300. We're gonna have some drop. So I'm gonna lay prone. That'll give me a little bit of a more steady shot. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, we're gonna aim for about spine. Could be quite a bit of drop. How about... I hit him! I got him! <laughs> I got him from 400 meters! With the new night vision scope. Yes! Okay, here is our Puma. How you doing? 415.27 meters and look, that was a perfect shot. Holy. <laughs> I, I really couldn't have got a better shot there. Beautiful. And that was a piece of cake using the new night vision scope. Absolutely love it. Just love it. There is literally no need for the old Gen Zero night vision scope. We can literally throw it in the trash. You still need the high-tech hunting DLC for the night vision binoculars. Maybe at some point we'll get those upgraded as well so that we can get this really nice blue shade instead of this kind of harsh green shade. I mean, it never bothered me before to be very honest, but I would prefer to have it in this color. What about you guys? Now to really test out the new Odin site, I think we should go and shoot some fallow deer and do a little bit of great one grinding. Let's do it. Okay, so we're here on my fallow grind and we actually have another five medium here. <laughs> my map has been popping off. Okay, so 
This is the Hyperion. So this is what I have been using for all of my Great One grinds forever. Forever, pretty much. And it has worked great. I've never had a complaint. But this time, we're going to be using this baby, the Odin. So if you like it at a certain zoom in distance, you can just adjust your scope. But you can get in nice and close. I don't think that I'm going to zoom in the entire way, to be very honest, when I'm shooting more than one animal. After I shoot this five, I need to see what's going on. I need to zing over here and get this guy. So I'm going to put the Odin on the 308 because we're not going to shoot that level five with the 300. Okay, now I'm gonna try this all the way zoomed in, but they're they're pretty close So it shouldn't really be a problem Now this guy may troll actually. I'm not sure Uh Oh, I'm shooting a doe cuz I'm just too zoomed in Ah, Not my best work but that was seriously because I was a little too zoomed in and I was shooting before my brain was registering what I was shooting at. I think we took a doe down. The good news is, is it will not damage my grind. Shooting a doe in the whitetail grind will definitely have negative consequences, but for fallow, it just doesn't seem to be that way. And that is a good thing. So here is our level five and he is a troll. I thought so, big meanie. <laughs> what are you gonna do? But we got a beautiful shot on him, 243. 0.69. Okay, we are at the next zone, and this time we're going to be grinding with a 300 using the Odin. Yeah, I think when I grind, I don't think I'm gonna zoom in all the way. This is perfect. But you know what? We'll try it zoomed in. We will try it. We got him! Beautiful! And look, the scope definitely looks different. And we just have some little guys here. We're sending them back for something bigger. Okay, so this is the Hyperion zoomed all the way in. This is the Odin, and I think it's about the same as the Hyperion zoomed all the way in, but I am not zoomed all the way in. Now I am. So if I actually pull my scope back two or three clicks, that is basically what you have when you are using the Hyperion. So by using the Odin, you have the best of both worlds. You can still, if you prefer to use the scope at this zoom, you can, but then you also have the option to get closer. So there's really no need to use the Hyperion unless you really want things to be smaller. And I just highly doubt that's going to be the case, but we'll take a couple of these dudes down. One bullet for you and one for you too. Delightful. And the other thing that I was thinking is that this is amazing news for new players. As far as the handgun slash shotgun scope goes, you know what? Let's go do some shotgun hunting. Oh my goodness, this turkey just walked right up to me. Where are you going? Where are you going? Well, how you doing guys? <laughs> oh, it's Whitetail. Oh, hello. Got him! Okay, so we were just using the regular shotgun scope there. And there's our flying turkey. So here it is. This is what we are used to with the shotgun scope. So now we are going to put the Hermes handgun slash shotgun scope on the shotgun. Now this is huge for new players. It used to be, or it is right now, that new players have to grind to unlock not only the handgun scope, but the shotgun scope separately. And once this new DLC comes out, the new scopes and crosshairs DLC, they won't have to anymore. All they'll have to do is purchase the DLC and then they will have both the handgun and the shotgun scope, an even better one that they don't have to grind for. That, my friends, is huge. So now we have the new scope on and this is it here. So the Hermes 3 7x33 handgun slash shotgun scope has three to seven magnification, whereas the Meridian 1 4x20 shotgun scope has one to four times magnification. Not only that, that, but if you are hunting with handguns and shotguns at the same time, you only have to carry one scope with you. You don't need both the handgun scope and the shotgun scope. And that is very cool. So let's go do some pheasant hunting with the new scope. Okay, we have some pheasants already. There they are. Hello, how you doing ladies? You can fly. Uh, where'd the male go? Where'd he go? <laughs> he just vanished. 
Are you kidding? Well, I guess we're gonna shoot some females. Come on, ladies, fly. You can do it. I'm coming for you. Okay. Having that extra bit of zoom is very cool. I like it a lot. That was easy. I know a lot of people hunt without a scope when they are shotgun hunting, but I think we might see more people now hunting with the scope on. I guess time will tell. But I just do a better job using a scope. And some people make fun of me for it, but that's all right. I know my limitations. And 60.81 meters, not too bad. Okay, we have some antelope jackrabbits here. They're about to meet my new shotgun scope. <laughs> look at this, look how zoomed in we are. That is awesome. Okay, so these guys are about 36 meters away. You know what? Oh, we got the dog toy down. Let's see if we can take them both with one shot. Here we go. No? All right, we'll take two. No! What the heck happened there? Okay, we did get two. <laughs> I think it actually took three shots to get the second one. Very strange. I have been hunting for a diamond antelope jackrabbit and oh my gosh, not easy. But that is a cool photo. Very cool. I think these are really cool little rabbits. They're just very hard to find a diamond of. Not easy at all. So that was a 58 meter shot with the Strandberg 10 gauge. And I do love this shotgun. Oh, there goes the pheasant. So you can zoom back to figure out where it is, then zoom in to get him. I think he's landing. You don't want to shoot him when he's about to land. But this is a good time to reload. Wait for me. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's coming back. Beautiful. So I zoom back and then I can zoom in. And we got him. I can even put another shot in. And splat. Now I need to get my lab. I have the wrong dog with me. Oops. But at least he can lead me to where my kill is. Thank you, my dude. And there is our pheasant. And he is a silver 45.21 meters and two pellets into him. He went splat. How you doing? You should probably go for a fly. What do you think? Yeah? Oh, good call. Okay. So we're zooming back. I'm gonna zoom back in. And splat. <laughs> love it. I love this scope. I love this new DLC, like seriously. This is something I'm gonna highly recommend to new players as soon as they start playing because it is going to make that much of a difference. And we have a gold, 41.98 meters with four pellets. <laughs> Not bad at all. Now, the one weapon I do use the Argus quite a lot with is the Virant 22, but I actually have the Odin on. Maybe I won't use the Argus anymore with it. We have that little bit of extra zoom. Let's ping off some bunny wabbits. One for you, one for you. Oh, 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 no, it vanished. And one little wabbit and two little bunny wabbits ghost bat okay so we are now gonna head back to parquet fernando and do some hunting with the handgun and the new handgun scope with water buffalo and we're gonna use the new gand hair okay we're gonna get the rhino out because the rhino is definitely the best handgun in the entire game the sunberg rhino is free you will have to grind to get the better ammo but you can just purchase the new scopes dlc and you don't have to grind for the handgun scope, and that is awesome. Okay, we're back in Parquet Fernando, and we have some water buffalo out here feeding. Now, I have the rhino, the Sunberg rhino on me. Now, let's put the original handgun sight on it, and this is it right here, the Goshock Red Eye 2 4x20 handgun scope. So you actually have to grind to unlock this as a new player. But when you purchase the new Scopes DLC, you don't have to unlock anything, which is amazing. So this is what we're used to. That is the most you can zoom in with the original handgun scope. So let's put the new one on. So now we're going to be using the Hermes, three seven by 33 handgun slash shotgun scope okay i have not used it yet this is my first time looking through this new scope on a handgun okay so that's all the way back and that's zoomed in 
That is very cool. That's definitely going to help with longer range shots. Now, unfortunately, the rhino only zeroes to 75 meters. I was thinking we could actually take a water buffalo with the gand hair because it is now good from classes four to nine instead of four to eight. I think we will take a shot on this level six. He's not giving us a perfectly broadside. You know what? I'll just move a wee bit. Now, when I take this shot, there's going to be a very good chance that I'm going to get attacked by at least one. One buffalo and we will be using the handgun then dude you're in my way okay so the gand hair zeroes in at 75 150 and 250 meters which is very random if you ask me but we're gonna zero to 150 now to get the scope to pop up on pc you just push down on the mouse wheel I'm not sure how you do it with the controller. I'm sorry. I don't know. But if you do know, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so we're zero to 150. Here we go. I definitely hit him. I don't know how strong this bullet is or how long it would take him to drop, but I have a feeling we might not have gotten a great shot. Oh, we did. He's going down. <laughs> we got him. And no one's attacking me? What a bunch of wimps. What a bunch of nincompoops. Come on. Okay, so we ran about 150 meters, so not too bad. And here is our buffalo. And we got a left lung shot from 132 meters with the gant air. And we got full integrity. That is awesome. Awesome! I really like the gant hair. So I am very excited about this new change that comes with the update that drops on Tuesday. I don't know if I mentioned that in the video yet, but the scopes and crosshair DLC comes out next Tuesday, which is September the 24th. Now I will be releasing content in early access starting on Monday the 23rd. Okay, fleeing! Dude! Okay, this is the new scope, isn't it awesome? So nice. To have that little bit of extra zoom. I really like it. This is awesome. Where are you going? And still love how we can just reload the entire rhino in just a flash. The game just keeps getting better and better. And there's one buffalo, just a level five. I'm gonna make sure there are no trophies running away. I think we're good. And a brown and too many shots into that one. That's all right. Okay, we have a bunch of water buffalo out here. This time we're gonna try and use the rhino from 155 meters. Now I don't think the drop is as crazy as you think it might be. Here, I'm gonna aim. We're 150 meters or so, 163. Okay, I'm gonna aim right there. Let's see if that's a good shot. He's aggressive, so we can get him again. Is he dropping? Try and take the seven. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Oh, that's the mythical and he is dropping. Oops. <laughs> I don't think that was good. And he's about to go. Splat, right in front of us. And we did get a right lung. Okay, look at that. So from 167 meters, I think I aimed about right up here. That was the drop. So on a huge target like a water buffalo, it's really not that hard to use the rhino from further distances. So not a bad one, 149.18, diamond is 167. We have a ways to go. And we did take down another buffalo with a vital shot. There's the level seven and we got a double lung shot from 130 meters with the Rhino Sunberg. Very sweet. Now, another thing that changed with this update is the electronic collar that comes in the Ambusher DLC. So what you can now do with it is you can call two animals at the same time. So just pick an animal and you then you can scroll down, click and pick a second animal. Then I just press R and it calls them both at the same time. Now, the other thing that has changed is there is now a feature called Fox Bang. Now I can press F and that turns Fox Bang on. And basically what that does is as soon as you fire a shot, the calls will immediately cease. They will stop and you will have to turn them back on. There's no point in the caller running if you've already made your kill, right? Now in situations where you might be hunting ducks and you're going to be continually shooting, then you would turn Fox Bang off. So that is what has changed with the new electronic caller. And if you own it already, it will be updated for free with this update that drops tomorrow. Let me know what you think of the new scopes and crosshair 
other DLC in the comments below. And if you did enjoy the video, splat that like button. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more content just like this. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm gonna recommend that you watch this video next.